Now let's get started in CKM by registering. We start by clicking on the sign up button in the top right hand corner of your screen. And this will display a step by step wizard that will support you in registering for the first time. I'm going to register as Jane Fisher. We tab between the fields, her email address, organisation, there's country, Australia. Now you'll notice that her username has been constructed automatically by the Clinical Knowledge Manager. So this is not, not something that's optional, this is something that is automatically constructed from your first name dot last name and this will be something that you need to remember to be able to log in. Now we're going to scroll down, the photo is optional and we're not going to do that today and then you need to put in passwords. It needs to be at least six characters but isn't any more strict than that. Then we also oblige people to also enter in their capture code they see in front of them. And then you click on the next button to proceed. Now the step two is where we ask for people's availability and willingness to participate. So what we're asking here is whether people are prepared to be a reviewer and you indicate your willingness to do that, that is to be a review of archetypes or other artefacts uh, by checking this box. We're also asking people to give some indication of their professional background and domain expertise. So I'm going to notify that I'm a medical practitioner and I'm also going to tell them that I am a general practice background and also some obstetrics background and then I'm going to click Next. Now the reason that we ask for this information is because we are seeking to build teams of people with the right kind of backgrounds and skills and this will help us invite extra people to balance teams should we need them. The next phase is then to require availability as a translator so in fact I'm going to indicate a willingness to do that because I have a background in French and I'm happy to translate any archetypes that are built into French. Then I'm going to save and finish. I've successfully signed up as a new user. So you'll note my username is now Jane Fisher and it's also notifying me that I'm going to get an email that's going to give me an activation code that will then allow me to log in. So next I need to go and have a look for my email. So here is the email that I've received in response to registering in CKM and what I need to do is to click on the link inside that says activate your account. Once I click on that link it will take me back to the Clinical Knowledge Manager and I'll be able to sign into my account. Coming back to CKM I come up here to my username jane.fisher put in my password I can also check this box if I want to be remembered on this computer and then I click sign in. You'll know that you've logged in successfully because you'll see a welcome message with your name up in the top right hand corner of the screen.